All right, I've taken quite the hiatus from drone flying, but uh, I dropped a video the other day and it was really um, anticlimactic, just me kind of doing a shakeout flight, but I wanted to get into rates. Rates and Expo, the topic has come up numerous times and I don't know, um, I think there's a misconception about like high rates versus low rates, Expo versus no Expo. I'm not really uh, too terribly concerned about what other pilots do in terms of their Expo and their rates. I'm just gonna explain to you my logic behind what I choose and why. So let's talk Expo. Exponential essentially creates a curve in your stick movement so that let's just say from center to all the way to the right or left, Expo determines how much input or deflection is given to that particular movement. Why don't I run Expo? You know, I think the majority of the YouTubers are trying to appeal to the masses and they want to have like real smooth and pretty footage. I know I'm being kind of passive aggressive here and I apologize in advance, but for me, I'm not interested in any of that. If you watch my content, um, I want you to watch it because you like my flying style or you appreciate my personality and attitude. So bubbly, but um, the reality is Expo, Expo in my sticks takes away my fine motor adjustment. So, and by motor, I don't mean the motors on the quad, I mean motor stick movements. So my quad responds to the smallest inputs. So right there, you can see I'm barely moving my sticks and the quad is responding to those inputs. That's no exponential. So every movement my fingers make, the squat, the quad makes a movement, all right? That's why I don't have Expo because I want to have 100% control of my drone at all times. So no matter where I'm at in flight, every little movement, I have control of my drone. And the way I fly, I don't fly at the end of my sticks like this. I, I see a lot of pilots like way out at the end of the sticks. They're having to make really large movements to get very minor movements. And I understand why we do that. We do that because we don't want the photos or the images to be jittery. And some people don't have fine dexterity in their fingers. Um, I don't, I'm not challenged that way. So I don't run Expo. Okay, horse dead. Now rates. Why do I run high rates? Rates are very personalized, right? And they should be. You should select your rates based on your flying style. If you're a flow pilot, you probably don't want high rates. You want Expo and low rates. Reason being is you're not gonna be doing, you know, all these really fast huck maneuvers. You're gonna be flowing around objects like this trying to make your footy look really professional and smooth and have everybody comment and like and give you 4 million subscribers. Again, I'm not interested. So flow, something I can do, but I don't. But I can even with high rates and a lot of expo, you just have to be a little more controlled on the sticks. So back to the expo, because I digress. Why high rates? I'm sorry, not expo, but the rates. Why high rates? High rates because I like to fly really, really low and I like to fly really, really tight. Proximity is my style. This is the zone that I perform best in. I can perform really well out here in the open space, but my ideal zone is right in here where it's really tough and complicated and there's a lot of obstacles that you could potentially bounce off of. So rates. The next portion of my flying style is high rotational tricks. So rolls, pitches, hurricane flips, um, Maddie flips with multiple moves, so like a double flip Maddie. Stuff like, ah, I messed that up. So there the rates or the expo did not save me. But you get the gist. I want the quad to respond to my inputs very rapidly because I'm trying to do a lot in a little bit of space. Jeez, that Maddie is crushing me. So with low rates, Yes, my footage is smooth and buttery, but I can't pull off highly technical tricks in a really tight proximity area. So like in here, hurricane flip, boom. Didn't touch the concrete and I did a 270 roll, 360 pitch in there. Rubik's, same situation. Oh, didn't touch the ground and I pulled off a Rubik's in proximity. That is why I run high rates the way I do. Rolls and pitches and flips, rolls and flips. I love to do them really close and tight. Again, that's why I select 
the rates that I have. So again, just a hot rehash, high rates, and no expo allows me to save my drone in situations like that where I'm really close and tight. And I can save myself and continue my flight, no issues. And again, ooh, my pack is dead. But again, you guys get the overall gist. That is why I run no expo and really high rates. So uh, if you got any questions, hit me up in the comments and I'll be glad to answer all your questions. So high rate life, that's me. Ooh, death before disarm. My boy Jonas gave me that. Ah!